Wednesday, May 10th, the 10 and 1 Hillers softball team took on 7 and 5 Medfield. Bottom of the second, Hillers trailing 1 0. The catcher, Jillian Cedia, changes that with a swing of the bat. Scored three runs and will drive this one into right field. And she's going to drive in maybe run number four. And yes, it will be a Hillers run. And it's a tie ball game, an RBI single for the catcher, Jillian Cedia. Bottom of the fourth, Hillers trailing two to one. Jillian Cedia strikes again. This one on the ground, first base side. That's gonna get through into right field. One run in, and it's tied up at two. An RBI single for Jillian Cedia, her second RBI of the game as Lindsey Whittles comes around to score the game tying run. Katie Holly steps up with bases loaded and two outs. Walks as good as a hit right now. Absolutely. And good eye. She'll get it. 3-2 Hillers. Bottom of the fifth. Hillers add another run. The bunt up the middle. The throw to first is in time, but a run is in for the Hillers. A job well done by Whittles. A sacrifice there makes it 4-2 Hopkinton. Medfield down to their final three outs in the top of the seventh, trailing 4-3. There's a ball, and the runner taking off from first. They throw down, they got her, but the tying run scores from Medfield. They fell for it. Lachine scores, and Zona thrown out, one away but it pays off for the Warriors, a 4-4 game. Game tied at four apiece, heading to the bottom of the seventh. Lindsey Whittles makes it pretty clear she doesn't want to play extra innings. Can the Hillers walk off? Four to four, bottom of the seventh, one out, one on. Whittles at the plate. Hit in the air, over to right field, and that is gone, a walk-off home run for the Hopkinton Hillers. Lindsey Whittles goes yard, and the Hillers take the game six to four. Gee, ever clean that one out. Wow. That was out on the crack of the bat. That was an unbelievable display of power by Lindsey Whittles, and what a way to take the victory for the Hopkinton Hillers. A six to four win. Lindsey Whittles powers it out of the ballpark. The two run blast, which ends up scoring Christina Weldon, who was pinch running for Heather Holly. And you cannot ask for a better ending than that. It doesn't get any better than that. Hillers take the game in walk off fashion, six to four and improved to 11 and one overall. Lindsey Whittles went two for three, had the two run homer and racked up three RBIs. Jillian Cedia came through big as well, hitting two for three with two RBIs. The very next day, pitching sensation Kelly Nelson and the Norton Lancers were in town. Nelson pitched six innings of no-hit softball, but Katie Holly broke up the no-hitter in the seventh. The Norton Lancers got revenge from a Hillers defeat on the Norton home turf earlier in the season as they took down the Hillers 11 to nothing. The Lancers take the lead in the TVL as they improve to a 14 and one on the season. Hillers are right behind them in second at 11 and two overall.